All right, so welcome you all to the fifth episode of Become a Superhero, and today we have an amazing guest with us, Sir Christine. So let's all say hi to Christine. So she's joining in from yes, so we got a beautiful hi from her. Ah, uh, so she's joining in from Mumbai, this beautiful city of Mumbai, India today, and we're going to learn. Like the mission of this podcast is to understand those secrets that how that story happened, how how did they take their decisions of success, right? So we're going to learn that today from Christine, and we're going to understand a little bit about her. So, but before we go and understand more about her, I definitely want to introduce her. So she's actually an actress, a celebrity award winning MC, a voicing artist. She worked in multiple short films. She's been featured in music videos, right? And she's also starred in a cult super hit Tamil film Chennai 28, that is also known as the film's sweetheart. There, right? So she has now transitioned into being an ambassador, right? Ambassador for spreading positivity, hope, happiness, and helping a lot of people get that hope inside of them, feeling that true authenticity in them, right? And she is really passionate about rebuilding the human connect through joy. Like, like I have one thing I've always seen with her is that happiness and joy that she always emits out, right? So that. Joy of effective communication, and today she has taken up a role as a trainer, inspirational speaker, and also a lifestyle influencer. And it's her passion to equip people with learnings, conversations that will enable them to become more powerful communicators in all aspects of their life, leading to better relationships, starting with themselves, and which will automatically create a ripple around them. Right? And I really love this. So she has this success mantra: Why chase rainbows when you are the rainbow? Right? So. That's a beautiful success mantra that Christine always follows with, and that's a short introduction about Christine. And I'm all excited to know more about her. So, welcome to the show, Christine. Very excited to have you here. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you really do your homework, and uh, thanks for that lovely introduction. And it's wonderful to be on a show with such a powerful uh, team and babe. So, thank you for that. <laughs> Yes. So, thank you so much again, once again, for being on the show. And let's get started without any delay to understand more that journey, the story, secrets, lot more coming. Everyone say who's watching this right now. So, what incident actually in your life or situation made you take the decision? Like today, many many on, only look forward for the uh, the normal path, like ordinary path. What we say is like, okay, I just want to get a nine to five, settle in my life, and I do not want to do anything more. But What made you make that decision that you want to become a coach? You want to become an actress? You want to transform people around you? What incident in your life made you make that decision? So I would say ever since I was a little girl, um, I questioned everything. I questioned a lot of norms that society had for girls, especially, and I kept questioning, and I never got answers. So I said, you know what? I I always believed there is so much more beyond than what people have created for us because I knew everything, literally everything is man-made. And why is it man-made? Because we see with times things have changed, rules change with times, and it's all according to convenience, right? Whether it's and it depends on which culture you belong to, which country you belong to, and I and I noticed what's what what's valid here is not valid somewhere else. So I said it's not like a universal rule that we live by. And uh, I started questioning a lot, and somewhere, even as a child, I became a rebel, a sweet rebel. <laughs> But I started becoming a rebel, and I said, I just the curiosity, and and the more I asked questions, I didn't get answers because everybody follows everything so blindly, right? And then I said, you know what? When I grow up, I'm going to prove that whatever I've been told is 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 something that. I can go against like it's something that I can prove wrong. <laughs> so I I always had that in my mind from uh, the beginning, and there came a point where I I I you know everybody was doing you know like the run of the mill stuff, but this one was doing everybody follows. Everybody should get a job. Everybody should do this. We should get married at a certain age. We have to have kids. This is the this is the you know thing, and not just women, like men. Was everybody has to get married at a certain age? You have to do this. So it was like a framework that was given to the world. And I started noticing a lot of people were so unhappy. They were doing it for the sake of everybody else. But after a few years, they were just not happy because somewhere there was a void in them. They were not fulfilling what they wanted to do, their dreams. What it was, and you, in fact, if you go out there, you see so many people who are engineers who are now. Filmmakers, photographers, musicians, and you're like, 
huh? You were an engineer and now you're this. And it just proves that people were forced into doing something and later on they discovered what their true passion is. So early in time I could note I noticed a lot of people were unhappy around me and I said I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be unhappy. So I decided to follow my heart. I knew it was going to be a tough journey. I knew it was not going to be easy, but I said, you know what? What matters at the end of the day is making my heart smile, making my heart happy. Because I don't want to be 80 years old someday or 90 years old and look back and regret my life for even one second. I want to know I'm going to take full responsibility and I don't want to blame my family or anybody else say, because of you I got married, because of you I did this job, because of you I'm here. Right? And it's so easy to do that. But I said, I'm going to take full responsibility and do what it takes. So, uh, yeah, so even being an actor, I didn't know it was really, I mean, being an actor wasn't really in my plan. I just looked at ads and I said, oh, that looks easy to do because my personality is such. I was quite the knock and key ever since I was a child. So I was always like the drama queen, dancing, you know. And then I said, okay, this looks something looks like something I can do. So I, I, I said, uh, but in Dubai, I grew up in Dubai, so growing up there, the, the thought of even getting on screen was like, oh, you couldn't even think about it because everybody would say it's a bad world out there and um, you know, it's not meant for girls, good girls, and I don't know what not. But I said, why? I mean, I, I'm going to prove people wrong. <laughs> Who said it's such a bad world? You can create your own world. So I left home at a very young age. I came to Mumbai on my own. I took a huge risk. Uh, and I decided to stay here. And um, that's about it. It was one crazy ride after that. And um, I just decided to take a risk. That was a big step that I took. And I said, I'm going to learn life my way. I'm going to make mistakes my way. I'm going to pick myself up my way. I'm going to take responsibility for all my actions without blaming a soul. And so um, that's it. That was the journey. And I just landed up here in Mumbai um, and yeah, decided to follow my heart, follow my dreams, and do whatever made my heart happy. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic, Christine. Thank you so much for that because I think one major thing that I learned from your story, what you shared was making something that makes your heart happy, right? Doing something that makes your heart happy, like not just going with something that's created as as like a hereditary process, like you got to do this or you got to do that. So I think that's something really beautiful and what you shared about taking risk and taking responsibility for the mistake is also really important. So that's something really beautiful. And when you were going through this journey, I know for sure you would have set a lot of dreams, a lot of goals. So how were you able to fulfill those dreams? Did, did you not face criticism? Did you not face challenges? Or like, did somebody not come from your family and say, okay, this is not the way, just got to get a nine to five. Like, how did you, how were you able to fulfill those dreams and goals? Like you said, it wasn't easy, definitely a challenge because coming from a simple middle class family where um, I'm Christian and uh, I grew up with a lot of Christian uh, morals and values, um, you know, especially by my mom. And uh, so to think of even like when I even told her I want to get into the media line, she's like, no, don't do that. It's not a safe place. It's not, uh, you know, it's not something for uh, decent girls. And I said, then you know the only thing I asked her is do you trust me and she said yes I trust you and I said that's it I'm not going to break your trust it's as simple as that so for me more than the world what the world thought what what mattered to me is what my mother thought right that was the, the only thing that mattered to me more than anything else and believe me I have faced a lot of criticism I have faced a lot of things of people saying what does she think she's doing um, and they created stories also about me which I was surprised to hear I said wow <laughs> really <laughs> so uh, I realized more than what the world thinks what I think of me matters right and how I looked at myself because I was so clear my mom had instilled enough values and ethics in me uh, and very strong principles for me to come to a city alone and and just 
manage myself. So I was very clear in the beginning what work I will do, what work I will not do. I was very clear whether I was going to like work, I was going to associate with and not associate with. So there was a very clear distinction. I knew I was only going to attract good things in my life. And whatever people were saying, even though the world talks about the big bad world, I just refused to believe it. Right? So yes, it was challenging, but it was my belief system that drove me all the way. And uh, I kind of like was a horse with you know blinders, uh, and I said nothing else matters. What people think, what they say, doesn't matter. What matters is what I want to do. And I didn't have the biggest goal or the biggest dream to be the the top most you know movie star or something. For me, it was everything was one step at a time. It was like I want to do this now. I'm going to do this, right? I feel like doing this. I'm going to do this. I don't feel like doing it. I will not do it. It was very, very um, in the moment, and uh, all I knew was see my ultimate goal. If you'll find this funny, if I tell you, wasn't to reach a particular place. My ultimate goal was always to be happy. That was my goal. Right? It wasn't like become a movie star. Uh, then after that, you know, then get married and then do this and do that. Those were not my goals. My goals were all: Are you happy? <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. Those were my goals. And for me, um, my success doesn't depend on. Yes, I'm grateful for all the achievements. It makes me so happy, and it makes my family proud. But my success is in being happy, knowing that I have not hurt anybody, knowing that I have, I can look at myself in the mirror with a clear conscience, sleep in peace, have inner bliss. That is success for me. So this is how I live, and uh, I continue to live like this. Actually. Wow, that that's fantastic, Christine. Like specifically as you shared, right? Like having that inner bliss, that that when you sleep, having that satisfaction, that. Okay, what I did today, I know I've done it in the right way, and I know I'm happy that I did it this way. Right? So I think that's a beautiful takeaway that I would get from uh, the second thing that you just now shared. And moving on to the next thing, like, what are your five best practices that you feel felt like led you to where you are today? That's something you kept on doing every single day. Um, I always believe in being a forever learner. Right? Like, I that is one thing I just add, like that is something I have ingrained in me with time. I said, I'm always going to be curious. I'm always going to be in awe of the world. You know, there's never a time where I still go at my whatever projects I take, whether it's acting or being an MC or being a coach or being a trainer or being a speaker. Every project for me is as if it's my first time. So I still am in awe like a child. I still am curious. I'm still curious to learn. I always feel there's somebody who always knows more than me. So being a forever learner, where I think I need to up my game, I need to improve myself, I need to keep learning. So that is one thing I feel that has helped me uh, with time and helped me improve as a person. Without thinking, oh, I am already, I've already arrived. I'm already this. I know it all. That's something that just doesn't exist. I may know a lot, but I still feel I need to know a lot more. So that is one thing. Um, I believe in not compromising. Uh, it's very important for me. Don't compromise, don't succumb to things because a lot of people actually, that's the first thing, you know, I would keep hearing, you have to compromise. And not just compromise um, in the industry where you have to give up your soul to the devil, not just that way compromise. But compromise even with your value system. Compromise with um, doing something you don't want to do, and and then just settling for less. Why settle for less? Don't you trust that you know you are you deserve the best or you deserve more? So never compromising. I have never compromised on like so many things, and I've even said no to work because if I don't feel right about it and if my heart doesn't. It doesn't, you know, spark, give me a spark in my heart, then I'm not going to do it. So I don't compromise on so many things. And that has helped me because I've stayed true to myself more than anything else. And I would say, um, you know, I uh, rejection and failure are something that's a part of life. 
it's the attitude of what you have after that right so i faced rejection almost every day with work as an actor because we give auditions for so many projects and then you get to know that you you know you're not selected because you're not selected you know so and then you have to just it's so easy to crumble it's so easy to you know wallow in self pity and feel horrible about yourself but it's all about the attitude and my attitude is where one door closes and another door is going to open and this wasn't meant for me but something better is in store for me so i've just changed the whole thought process the mind game the, the programming of how i look at life and i say it's okay it's part of my life it's part of my learning and it keeps me humble it keeps me grounded so i look at rejection and failure as almost like a pillar of strength for me to get up and get back on track right and i also want to say that i don't know how many points i've already covered but having you boundaries, covered three of them yeah i think boundaries and standards are important uh, this is something i didn't know early in my life so boundaries is something that if you are able to know what works for you what doesn't you should know when to say yes you should know when to say no we are not here to please the world because no matter what you do not it is going to happen and have standards set standards for yourself right and when you set standards for yourself that's what you are going to attract if i lower my standard i'm going to attract that kind of lower vibration if i you know put my standards higher i am going to attract something amazing so for me it has always been having boundaries and standards and above all i would say have fun you know we us we are always in this rat race of being the best or comparing and competing and all of that jazz and i think why we all are unique we all are on a different journey so have fun don't stress yourself <laughs> you know ultimately we are going to get we are we are where we are meant to be at this point of time so have fun you don't want to again look back and say i frowned all my life i've been worrying all my life for what it gets you nowhere <laughs> so i think this is my biggest takeaway is for for reaching where i reached today please ah uh, fantastic christine like i i just want to summarize back again what you shared so you first shared like being a lifelong learner like never having that attitude of i know everything or i know it all right like that's the first thing that you shared and the second thing i think i love the second point the most we said don't compromise on things right like if if you feel like this is the right thing then you do it if it's not the right thing then don't do it right and then i think you also shared about setting boundaries right like whether yes or no is this like if this is something that you want to do then you do it if this is something that you don't feel like doing then don't do it and i think when you also share about having fun like like i think sometimes what happens is when we go on doing it doing it we go we go it with the stress or we we go with like okay i got to reach certain goals uh, or achievements but i think you shared about having fun and taking that step by step step by step as we go forward so i think these are very beautiful learnings your best practices that you shared i think that's really really powerful and i know so as as everybody goes through a journey they always have their ups and downs they have something that works something doesn't work what would you share as something as one of your biggest lessons that you learned on this journey that people would need to avoid sorry could you repeat that please ha uh, is it is it audible right now yeah 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 all right Sure, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. So uh, as I was sharing, like a lot of us today on our journey, we have our ups, we have our downs, we have something that works, something that doesn't work. So what would you share as a, one of your best lessons that you learned in life that that probably our user, our, our viewers who are watching right now could avoid in their life, like something that they should not do. But what what would that be that you would want to share? Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. I would say. don't get complacent you know uh i found that even i because i have experienced this we tend to get comfortable being complacent we tend to get comfortable in certain situations and areas once we reach a certain standard or we do we think we like oh okay so getting complacent is a big roadblock because we need to continuously be in motion Continuously giving our all and giving our best without, you know, thinking that ah, it's okay. So that is one. 
I would say uh, the second thing is don't take your uh, talents for granted. We all are talented. We all are gifted. We need to discover first of all. We need to admit. Be brave enough to admit that this is my talent. This is my. This is what I have. Because it took me years to admit that I love being in front of the camera. I thought people would think I'm a show off, or people would think I'm snobbish. But I said, but if I love being in front of the camera, I love being in front of the camera. And today, I'm so like I can openly declare it and say I love being in front of the camera. And I'm not shy about that. So be honest about like. You know, be open about what you have. Everybody says, "No, no, no, I don't have this. I don't have that." You know, discover what you do have first. Discover what you have and flaunt it because of me, you are gifted. And if it, because the very fact that you are gifted with something, it's meant. It's because you're meant to use it for the world. Otherwise, you wouldn't have that gift. And sometimes a gift could be just being a good listener. A gift could be just being compassionate and kind. A gift doesn't have to be like being on TV and having all these, all these, you know, extraordinary. No, extraordinary can also be in the most subtle things. But we all are gifted. So discover what it is and be open to say, claim it. Yes, I am gifted. So never take your talent for granted. Um, then I would say, um, you know, it's so important to have discipline, have rituals. And have a routine uh, because I was in this field where erratic shoots, erratic uh, timings, sometimes late night, sometimes early morning. But that one thing I realized a long period of time is you have to have some kind of discipline in your life, some kind of routine, some kind of ritual. And that ritual could be as simple as either a meditation or journaling or saying a prayer in the morning. Or doing something, or some some it's just exercising, but have a ritual, a ritual that keeps you grounded and keeps you on the path. You know, otherwise it's so easy to just go all over the place. So that's another thing I would say. Um, then uh, it's important to have a goal uh, because I know for a fact that we're not taught how to have goals in our life, and in school at least. We discovered it much later, and we're like, "Oh, goals! What's that? The only goal we know is the one in football." Correct. No. <laughs> then we realize, wait a minute, there are other goals in life too. So I, I feel it's important. A lot of people don't know where they're going. They don't know what they want. They don't. They feel even even if they don't even dare to dream, they think it's far away. It's that's not for me to be an actor. It's not for me. I'm just a small person over here, you know. They they just refuse to go out of their, um, you know, the, the, the capacity of thinking. So get out, get out, think out of the box. We all are capable of doing so much. So I truly believe that, and um, and I also feel this is very important. Uh, it took me a very very long time to start being honest about how I feel. So honest how I feel to myself, and honest how I feel to express myself to others. I was always afraid of confrontation, thinking what will that person think, or will I hurt that person? And it came to a point where it was damaging me by not being open and vocal and sharing what I felt. So it was very difficult for me to think. But this is something I would love to tell. Everybody out there, don't be afraid to speak your heart out. And if you're honest, be honest with compassion. Don't be brutally honest. I always say this: be honest with compassion. Be sensitive to other people, but be honest. Right? It's important that we're able to communicate and just, first of all, get whatever's in us out of our system, so that at least you know you're clear. Right? So these are things I feel. I mean, I've experienced this the hard way. And if somebody can learn from what I'm sharing, then I'm saying you know you're going to save yourself a lot of heartache. Absolutely, fantastic, Christine. Thank you so much for that. And I think specifically when you were sharing, like I remember me going through that challenge as well of confrontation with people, right? Like having that fear, like okay, like what if I hurt this person, or is is what I'm going to share is it right for them, or is are they too sensitive to take it, or so various different challenges with confrontation as you shared. So I think that is something which I will take away definitely. Being open to share, right, uh, and expressing that feeling that's happening inside of you. But but you said it very beautifully. 
not in a brutal way in a compassionate way i think that is something which is very very important what you shared uh, fantastic question so moving on ahead like what would be your message to people because specifically after we saw covid hit we saw a lot of people lose hope lose confidence lose trust like like even if they had goals they lost hope on those goals right or if they wanted to look for jobs they saw things becoming more worse than how they were before so what would be your message to people right now who are feeling this or who are feeling that okay i cannot do it my my life's not worth it and who have these self doubts what would be your message to them please the biggest thing i've learned with time is adapt we all need to adapt we can't be stuck on one thing like i only do this i only believe in this i only blah 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 right because we're so rigid in in our thoughts we so rigid so once one thing is have an open mind at all times like even if i have a belief system i have an open mind enough to embrace a different belief system i say okay you know i'm not going to fight you down and prove that i'm right all the time because that's the world is such we come from very different mindsets so to start with if you have an open mind number one that helps these things number two adapt adapt with time like look at us we all come from long run internet emails uh, you know zoom calls now uh, how we have i mean there's so many fantastic uh, things that have been invented digitally in so many ways we were so advanced so we were adapted with all of that so i would say continue adapting even with if this doesn't work like for example you said covid pandemic what a lot of people have done is okay this is not working now so let's see what we, can we get this online yes we can okay okay let me if i don't if i'm not going to work and if this is happening let me come up with my own business and do something that i love love to do and you know pursue my passion that way and if not this okay can i team up with something can i collaborate with something if you just write down this one question and say uh what is it i need to do in order for me to achieve this okay if you just write up not just write how i mean the how will happen right but just what is it i need to do? so you end up writing a list and say okay um i need to call at least five people every day i need to uh, work on my social media i need to uh, gear up on this i need to upskill myself the possibilities are endless so i would always say have an open positive mindset and know that there is always hope there is always a tomorrow there is always um, you know something for you to if, if something is not working it's because it's not meant to work for you it's because you're meant to do something you know that's life it will keep 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 on hitting you teaching you lessons uh, until you come on the track that you meant to come on so this is how life makes things happen to you to hope hope was a huge learning for us um the, the pandemic was a huge learning for us and it made people realize to say go oh, you know i think now i need to change and uh my thought process i need to do something else and now i find people so much more in sync with what they wanted to do so i i really believe that the more you are adaptable to change uh the more you discover a life you know, beautiful way life is a beauty we just complicate it it's it's actually simple but stop overthinking stop thinking that and stop focusing on the negative things think of the you know focus on the solutions what else can i do like for me now i'm apart from being an actor i'm still i still do acting jobs i still do voicing jobs i still do mc i still go on stage i still act you know, i host events i love all that i do and i transition to also be a coach a trainer a speaker an inspirational speaker and uh, i'm loving this thing and this whole thing happened because of and i just you know dived into learning 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 i said i want to contribute to the world till now i have come this far doing something for myself the acting and all of that i said now it's time to contribute let me use my gifts and share it with the world how can i help so that's why i have a couple of courses right i have i've created courses like um, 
uh, you know, how to be on camera. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, the camera one is, I help people like with their presence on camera, right? I help them with their self-esteem. Uh, it's all about camera presence. I, I help them, you know, with basic technical know-how. I help them with their internal dialogues, even to, to be on camera. So I teach people all of that. Right, uh, and I help them with simple, actionable steps that will change the game for them for when they have to be on camera. So there's a lot of technical knowledge as well as theoretical knowledge, and they, which they can implement right away. So one is a course I created because this is what I've been doing. So I said, if I've learned this, let me help people and make it easier for them. The second course I developed uh, an online course. It's a WhatsApp course. This one. Called confidence currency and it's confidence with a K. I'm Christine with a K. And I believe if you are confident enough, like you can do anything, you can make your own, create your own rules. And I created my own rules like making you know confidence with a K. So I just spelled it the way I wanted to spell it. So here I help you upgrade, you know, your again your internal dialogue. It's a big thing for, for confidence. You know, what are you thinking? So I help people deal with that because I myself have come a long way. With my people think, oh, she's already confident, but I've worked on my confidence. So I want to help people with theirs now. And it doesn't matter what stage of life you are in. It doesn't matter. Like I'm here to still take you up the next notch, right? Not check not up your confidence to the next level. And you could be a working professional, you could be an entrepreneur, you could be a student. Even if you want to ask somebody on a date, or if you're scared to talk to your boss and you want the confidence to just go out there and be on stage, all of that. I help you with all of that. And it's basically awareness of the root of the problem. Uh, because once you get awareness of the root of the problem, then you can do so much more. You can deal with it better, right? And again, actionable steps, even with that. It's a five day fun. It's a fun course. And it's all about building your confidence. And I'm telling you, whoever has come on this course, they have, I see them every day with a difference. And it's amazing. Now the third course I've created is, is a three, well I say it's a three day online course, I've divided it into three days, it's called Mission Communication, as you can see my logo, it's uh, Mission Communication, it's a secret to get parts, um, and Mission Communication I've divided into three days, but it's like the 24 videos that I have recorded, it's a pre-recorded course that I'm um, opening up to the world. Um, where you know I teach them so many things that, and it's all about communication so right now I am a confidence and a communication coach and uh, I help people with their internal communication so a lot starts with internal life so it's internal, external, interpersonal so external is how you present yourself uh, interpersonal is how we deal with each other the human connect and internal is what, we, you know, what, what goes on in our head so that is something um, you know and there are a lot of wounds that we've had as we're growing up, right? Whether somebody has bullied us, whether somebody has been mean to us, whether there's a lot of trauma and everybody's trauma is different. You can't compare your trauma to mine or that one's trauma. Somebody has gone through worse, some people, but we all are like, and it depends on your sensitivity. Some people are more sensitive than the others. Some people just block it out thinking, I don't want to think about it. But I want people to deal with it because if you don't deal with it at the root level you're never able to, you will keep attracting something that's going to keep hurting you so if you don't deal with that at the root level then you know so mission communication is all about communication a very holistic uh, kind of communication in every area of our life uh, with relationships at work um, how you present yourself so basically I tell people starting with awareness and then I start and I've helped them with so many things with so many things um, I give them affirmations I give them goals I give them uh, things that they can do it's a super fun course I put in so much of research hard work effort and I've given a lot of references um, you know a lot of different um, film song references to make people um, absorb it better. So I made it fun. I've made, I don't want to be just teaching, 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 but I want people to, it, it should be experiential. So they should go back thinking, wow, you know. So I've made it so super duper fun. And yeah, that's, these are the things that created. So like I said, from being an actor, 
I realized I want to go out into the world and contribute, help, make a difference, um, and see however I can, you know, if I can help even that one soul to be happier and not just be happy, be stress free, be happier, be more confident, communicate better. And it's the ultimate. Like I just feel that what I've been through or what somebody else is going through, then it will save them years of you know, really hard labor, or pain, or, you know, or the time it would take to get to where they want to get. Wow, that, that's fantastic, Christine. Right? So as you as you specifically share, like I could see that energy. Like, you, like many of us see pandemic as uh, something that could give pain, but I think what you showed pandemic in your life was how it could be a possibility for a transition. Right or a possibility for like many of them have used this to do something better. Right when their challenge came, they use it to make it better. So just before we conclude with this podcast, I I have something like a little bit fanboy kind of question. Right, like like I I keep watching your various different ad shoots, your various different uh, short films. So how was that experience with Shahrukh? And I really wanted to ask this question. How was that experience when you did your ad shoot with Shahrukh? Oh my gosh, it was unreal. You know, it's surreal. I would say um, I was like an excited puppy uh, when I got chosen. I got chosen from more than a thousand girls because the whole world was trying to get that ad, and I was auditioning like everybody else. And when I got chosen for it, I was ecstatic. I was like, Wah! so it made me. It, it made me feel that you know I do have. What it takes, because I worked with so many actors, so many stars, and so I felt that you know what? Even though I was like this excited puppy, I said at the end of the day, we all are humans. So I I started looking at everybody as an equal. So whether it's somebody you know, it's stature wise who is not you know on the same level, uh, or somebody who's more than me in terms of status. I started looking at everybody as an equal. So even Shahrukh Khan, I was so excited, and then I met him, and then I realized he's just—he's an extraordinary man. I I respect him greatly. His talent, his uh, his energy, his uh, you know, and his gift of the gap—he's amazing. And at the same time, I said, you know what? He's my colleague. I'm also an actor working hard, and so is he. The difference is he's more famous and he's worked harder and he's reached a level beyond our imagination. But I still look at everybody as my colleague, and I say I'm not. I, I refuse to put anybody on a pedestal. So yes, I was excited. It was a great experience. At one point, we were running. He stepped on my toes. He slipped for some reason. So I said, "No, it's okay." <laughs> But I, I always feel I, I learn from so many people. And I learned from so many people, not just from stars. From stars, there's a lot of professionalism that I learned how they are. But even from people like juniors, I talk to everybody on set. I talk to everybody, and I've made friends with even people who are my juniors. And I'm like, I learned so much even from them. You know, they, everybody is here to work. Everybody is hard working. It's just that some have got the opportunity, some haven't. So I worked with Mr. Bachchan, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Oh my gosh, he is like. The ultimate for me. Um, oh my God! I'm thinking about him. I'm like, his aura is something else. So working with him was amazing. Um, I worked with Malcolm Dixit. I worked with, and, and when I say worked with, in different ways, acting wise, also as an anchor, as an MC. I've got a chance to work with so many people: Abhishek Bachchan, Preeti Zinta, you know, Tiger Shroff, Sunil Shetty, Ajay Devgan. Like, like there are so many people. At the end of the day. I just look at everybody and I say, "Wow, we all are here to work. It's interesting to work with these amazing people. I learn from them, but I'm equally I value myself as much. So it's been a it's been a wonderful journey, and I really feel blessed that I have been able to get these opportunities to work with stalwarts in our in my industry. So yeah, it's been oh. fun." <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic, Krishna. I think that's really, really beautiful, right? And so we are, we have come to the end of uh, this amazing show. And so I know for sure when people are going to be watching this show, maybe right now or maybe afterwards when they watch it, so they would definitely want to get connected with you, uh, learn more from you. So how could they get connected to you? Where would they be able to connect with you and find you so they can speak to you and learn more from you? So I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. U
your uh, that would be great so for those of you who know me as an actor you can connect with me on instagram as uh, at at christine z a k r i s t i n e z e l e e k for those of you who want to learn from me i do one on one coaching i do corporate trainings i do um i do online trainings i do offline trainings uh supporting trainings i do i i'm invited as a speaker a motivational inspiration speaker to a lot of places you can connect with me at coach c o a c h underscore christine zedek k r i s t i n e z e d e k there are times i do take a break from social media because i feel i need to balance uh, my life so i don't um, not in, like always 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 on social media i do take breaks but i do pop in a lot so instagram is my go to place you find me even on linkedin uh, at christine zere uh, there's only one christine zere so you're going to find me there on facebook i'm christine zere you also find um, I'm, i'm on youtube youtube also i'm christine zere so these are the most used platforms for me and i am contactable and reachable and my website is christinezerek.com so everything is christine zerek except the coach and the spoke christine zerek is for those who want to learn from me me as a coach and i've done i have to tell you all i have invested lakhs of rupees in my growth of learning I am an official certified coach from various trainers global international trainers and I'm still learning to add to my certification to be a coach. So my learning is not ending I'm continuously getting taught by the world's best and uh, the training the coaching all of that is happening. So I'm going on upskilling myself to just uh, help people even more. So the more I invest in me I'm able to help people So confidence, whether it's confidence, whether it's communication, um, anything being on camera, like I said, uh, how to present yourself on stage, uh, you know, all of these things are my forte that I love, love, love sharing knowledge and help. Now, coach, let me also let you let you know, coach underscore Christine Zerek is a very new account. I had a account previously, and there was some huge glitch that happened with Instagram, and it's not accessible. So I had to restart this page. So right now you only see one post, but I'm working on uh, now. I'm going to start putting a lot of posts on it. So just to let you know, it's me. It's a new account, and now it's a again. You know, when every time there's something that you face in life. Say how can I get over it and move on? And that's what I'm doing with my new account. You know, there was a huge roadblock, and I said, "Okay, I'll restart a new one." And voila! I said, "Let's start from the beginning." <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I would love to hear from your uh, viewers and followers, and and I have to say, uh, Jason, you're doing a fantastic job. You're wonderful. From the time I have met you, I have only seen you, uh, you know, so enthusiastic. The way you the way you do your author you uh, are con- continuously helping other people your inspiration in your own right and uh, when you reached out to me i was like you know i'm so glad because you are doing such a basic things for people around you so i have to say you know i have to give you a lot of credit well done you're so young you started so young in in, in this field of helping other people i i come to this field only now after all these years but I have to say you're doing fabulously well and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much Christine for that and I'm and I'm pretty much sure so those of you who are watching it right now you have a really amazing person to connect with and learn from right like I remember still I think it was 2020 I think where we met uh, I think it was 2019 where we met in Mumbai. 2019 where we met in MMI I think one more beautiful place to be at and I think it was Mumbai so that that's been a great possibility and that's where I think so for me seeing your work has been itself an inspiration right like I've seen that transition during the pandemic how it happened and how we started with lives how we started with transforming lives so I've seen that journey and it's been an inspiration so it's a very very happy moment for me as well to have you on the show and to share your story to the world so i'm very very happy thank you so much uh, christine and i know for sure we'll definitely meet once again back i think when i'm live in mumbai we'll definitely meet again so 
thank you so much for uh, being on this show and definitely we'll connect back and for all those of you who were inspired by Christine so i'm going to be sharing the links that all the links that she has shared you can connect with her instagram her website she has shared all the various different links her social media platforms where you can get connected to her all will be available for you in the description below the video you can just connect her with connect with her and definitely share whatever it is that support you want i know for sure you'll have a right person to support you so thank you so much everybody for watching this show and thank you so much and, uh, a lot of luck to your uh, amazing audience uh, who's following you so thank you everyone for and i'm looking forward to connecting with you thank you jason absolutely awesome. thank you so much christine so we'll see all of you back again in the next episode of become a superhero thank you so much